YouTube, 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 what it do, baby? It's your boy GT from AG Black, like in the Dread of Viking, back with another video. Hope it's all good in your hood. Hope you've all have been blessed and not stressed. What it do, YouTube? Yes, sir, we are back, back, baby. This same day, I'm not going to lie, I just told myself, stop being lazy. Go ahead, get up, eat some breakfast. Let's go ahead and do this review. We already did the unboxing. So you might already know, and if you've seen the title, you already know what we got today. So with all that yip yapping and rapping out the way, we already know, baby, check out that box. And like I said in my previous video of the unboxing, I like how Jordan Brand designed the box. And simple, simple details, but it makes the box look so amazing to the point you damn near want to collect the lid. So you can see we have the dragon scales going all through the box in which it looks like they're turning into hearts. See, we have that label and we all know true to size for me is 11 and a half. But I was able to get these in a size 11. Honestly, I went for the 11 and a half. And of course, that famous sneaker zap saying, the size you selected is now sold out. Please go back and select another size. Went right back in and said, all right, let's just go for 11. You see, we got the 11. So let's go ahead and take this lid off and like I said I've already done an unboxing but I love how Jordan Brand took the time for details with these all the way down to the dragons that are on the shoe paper on the inside of the box and it goes all through the shoe paper so let's go ahead and peel these back and yeah, you already know through the unboxing, I had to go ahead and look at these. YouTube, I'm glad people slept on these. I'm, YouTube, these are sleepers. These are amazing. These are going to be fire this summer. And I'm not just trying to hype these up. These are going to be fire this summer. Now, I know a lot of people didn't pull the trigger on these because they wanted the Jordan 4 Bread Reimagines. I want them to. I'm not going to lie. I want them to. And we was hoping a shock drop or praying a shock drop is going to happen. We just don't know. So I understand a lot of people are just holding off. Then this past Saturday, we had the Nike Dunk Glow SB Court Purples. I went for those as well. Took an L. So I'm happy that I was able to secure this W. And even though it's still the first month of 2024, these might be in my top 10. These might be in my top 10 for 2024 because I'm being real selective on what I go for. So let's go ahead and get these out the box. And that paper, they come with two papers, a regular white paper, but then the other paper that just has the whole dragon design going through it. So hopefully that is picking up. Hopefully that light is picking up the details. Go ahead and flip it. Also, believe it came with a chain or a medallion. So here was the package that it came in. And it has the Jordan logo on the other side. So go ahead, take this out. And I don't know, I don't see a lot of people wearing this on their shoe, but I do like the additives that come with it. Go ahead and 
take a look at the shoe, the Jordan 1 Low, Chinese New Year, and the Year of the Dragon. Now, material, let's get straight to it because we know how Jordan Lows and Dunk Lows can be when it comes to Jordans and Nikes. And the leather, it isn't super soft, but it's not super stiff. If you get what I'm saying, it's like, it's decent. It's decent, especially for the summer. I believe these are going to crease, that leather is going to crease nice. And it's not going to be too stiff on your feet. You know, you know, every time you make that step and you bend right there, sometimes that leather can poke your feet, poke your toes, especially the pinky toe for me in the corner. So I don't think that this leather will be too sharp, that it will hurt every time you walk in them, and it should be able to break in easily. You see we have the dragon scales going near the eye stay and the overlays all the way where the toe box is, where the toe panel is. The back heel has that Jordan, that Air Jordan sign looks beautiful just sitting there. Like, I'm sorry, I had to look at it. I love how they had the, that uh, gold with the red just hitting off of that. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and take a look at the label and get these colors correct. Cell Cedar Oil Green. Okay. So we know what the cell is. We know what the cedar oil is in the green. So I'm just going to say that gold and that red in the back with the heel tab is, that Jordan logo. Love it, love it. Um, it does not come with any extra laces that I'm seeing. Nope, not seeing any extra laces. So you see we have the Nike Air logo on the front of the tongue with the Jordan logo and the dragon on the back of the tongue for the right shoe. Hopefully that is picking up. On the insole, we have the logo of that medallion. Hopefully that is picking up. If not, you know, I'll put up some pictures. And this also, when you have it up in the light, it looks a little milky, but when you have it far away, it's like a translucent blue. So, not sure what it's showing in the camera. Hopefully that color change did shift, but as you can see, when the light hits it, it looks somewhat of like a milky, but from a distance, it looks like an iridescent bluish. Go ahead and take a look at the other shoe. And not too many differences. You see we have that cell midsole. Once again, the white mid panel and the toe panel are a decent leather. The sock liner, not really sure what that material is, but that sock liner right in the beginning or right up top, But hands down, just a simple, nice Air Jordan 1 Low that I'm glad a lot of people slept on. And if I'm correct, well, I know I'm the year of the snake and that should drop next year in 2025. And I did not go for the year of the rabbits would drop last year. And that was a lot, a lot more than what these are going for in the uh, resale market. The value is higher. They didn't make that many pairs and those were numbered. And that could be a reason why a lot of people did not go for these or slept on these thinking that the resale value wasn't going to be high. But right after the, the drop, right after uh, the drop, when these drop, resale went up. So not sure where they're at right now, but in the long run, I do see these going up to around in between 225 to 250 
depending on your size. And this will be, these will be worn this summer. These will be worn this summer. And I really can't wait for the year of the snakes to come. But YouTube, down in the comments, let me know what you think about these. This is your first time here. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Let me know what you got on your list coming up next. Other than the Jordan 4s, reimagines. We all know everybody's going for those. Everybody and their mama is going for those. I'm trying to get three. I still have the breads from 2019. I doubled up on those, but I had to sell the second pair. We all know the situation why. Thank God I did because they were worth some money. I still miss them, and I'm glad that we have the Jordan 4 reimagines coming out in the bread colorway. But down in the comments, let me know what you think about these. Did you go for them? Did you pass? And do you think the resale on these will go up in the future? But you two, you know my motto. Instead of dreaming how to live, it's time to live out these dreams. You two, you guys have a great Sunday. You guys be safe. Until the next one.